guys, my name is Craig and this is one of the first tutorials um, I'm going to be doing in hopefully a long line of tutorials for learning how to use an Android phone. So we're going to be going through the real basics of how to use Android. Um, for the tutorials I'm going to be using one of these, it's called the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Um, now it is a tablet um, so it, is, it has got the capabilities of making phone calls and doing what a phone does. Um, but the reason I've chosen it is because it's got a nice seven inch screen and it runs on exactly the same software that your phones will be running on. So it'll be almost identical. Um, and with it being a nice bright screen, you should be able to see it a lot clearer on the, on the video. Um, so today, what we're gonna start off with is the home screen. Um, so the home screen, um, I, I generally break it down. Um, it has um, three sections. Um, it has a notification bar, the main screen, which I call it, and the um, menu section at the bottom. Um, so the main, the main bit here has normally between five and seven different screens. Now with these screens, you can fill them up with various apps and widgets, that kind of thing, um, which I'll go through in a little bit more detail. Um, along the top, you have a notification bar, um, which is the little sort of gray bar running across the top. Now, um, when it's closed, it looks, it looks like that. And you have your, your time, your battery life, your signal strength and your internet connectivity um, as standard on the front. So you can see that. And then alongside here, you can see I've got a couple of emails. So the notification bar will, will light up if you have missed a phone call, have a new text message, received an email, or if a particular app you're using has a notification feature in there, and it will bring up the various symbols at the top there. Now to open the taskbar, what you're gonna to need to do, one finger on the top and swipe down and that releases it so you can see those um, notifications. So you can see I've got two different email accounts there, currently with an email sat there waiting for me to, to view. Um, along the top, this is only on certain selected devices, so you may be lucky enough to have that particular feature, um, but you have um, what they call toggle switches. So basically you can turn your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and your, um, your basically put it into like a silent mode, um, all at a touch of a button. Um, so literally, if I wanted my Wi-Fi on, I'd select Wi-Fi, and then you can see it goes green. So when it's green, it means it's on. When it's grey, it means it's off. Now, ideally, you want them all turned off if you're not using them, because they will waste battery power. Um, so I always tend to have mine turned right turned right off. Um, and essentially, that's it for the, for the notification bar. It's just a quick way of viewing um, various notifications and stuff like that. Now, the main screen, um, is where you have your apps and your widgets. Now the difference between an app and a widget, an app um, that you put on the home screen is essentially just a shortcut to the app. So it's like if you're viewing um, this video on like a, a Windows um, computer, um, you can have shortcuts to various folders or software. Um, exactly the same principle on an Android phone. Um, you can have, it's, it's basically a shortcut. So as you can see there, I've got my, um, I've got my camera. So without having to go into the main menu and then searching through all the mains to find the camera, all I simply do is tap it once and it loads up the camera feature. Um, so you can have as many apps on there as you, as you, as you want. Um, so, and you can also customize the app. So for example, if you didn't want the calendar on the home screen, press and hold once on the app and it buzzes and it then has gives me full flexibility to move that particular application around the screen. So I can keep it on this screen, move it across to other screens, um, stuff like that. Um, I should have dropped it by accident there. But yeah, you can move it across to other screens. You can see it's whizzing through there now. If I want to get rid of that particular um, shortcut altogether, you can see down here, the applications menu has become a remove tray. So all you need to do is just drag it into that one and then release, and that's the application gone. Um, now to add an application, if you go into your, your main menu and say we wanted to add the Domino's Pizza app that I've got installed. So what we'd do is we'd press and hold it once and then it automatically allows you to put it onto the home screen. So hopefully you saw that transition into the home screen and then again you can drag and drop this wherever you, you want to, to pop, pop it on the, on the home screen. And then that allows you a quick fire app into, into that particular application. Now a 
widget's slightly different. It's basically a sizable area. So this um, Google bar here, that's a, that's a widget. You can see it's a lot bigger than a normal application. And now the way I describe a widget is, it's something that either updates itself, has a moving part, or you can interact with. So on this particular one, you can search for stuff, um, and you can also um, have other widgets that tell you various bits of information. So for example, um, you know that one there is recommending certain applications and stuff to me. Um, so to add a widget, all you need to do is go into an empty area on the screen, press and hold for a few seconds and it brings up an add to home screen area. Um, this basically has various bits and features of, of what bits and pieces that you can add to, to the home screen. So um, for this particular one, we're going to add widgets and then you can then see it gives you an option of various widgets. So to give you an idea, we'll add the, say the analog clock. So we tap that once and it then brings it up to the home screen. And that's now, that's now a, a moving widget. And again, to move it, you can press and hold it and drag it into various sections. Um, nice and simple. And exactly the same way as we remove the apps, you just drag it down to the bottom to the remove tray. Um, you can also see there's a, a nice image on the back ground here. That's called a wallpaper and you can fully customize that again. So again, press and hold one finger on an empty area and it brings up our, our add to home screen menu. And right down at the bottom there, you can see it's got wallpapers. So you're going to select wallpapers and it then separates it into three categories. So you've got gallery, live wallpapers and wallpaper gallery. Um, if we set the gallery option, this brings up pictures that I've got saved to my device. So these are personal pictures that I've added to the phone. So say we want to use um, that particular image. So we select it and it then brings up an editable area. So we can have the picture really small or we can use the full width of the picture. Now to use the full width, which is what I would recommend, press and hold on one of the sides of the yellow boxes. And then you can see it gives you arrows. And then moving your finger left and right makes the, the whole image get bigger and smaller. So you want to make it as big as possible. Once you've done that, hit save. Let the, let the phone do its thing. And then as by magic, it's now the, it's now the back. Um, now, you also have the option to add live wallpapers. So go into the same menu and you've got live wallpapers here. The live wallpaper is basically a background that moves or you, and you can interact with it as well. So for this particular demonstration, we use the water one. So you can see that's moving. It's got the leaves moving around, stuff like that. Um, if we hit set as wallpaper, it then updates it. And on this one, you can tap on the water and it ripple, makes a rippling effect. So it's quite a, quite a nice feature. Um, they are huge battery drainers though, so um, just to be aware, if you are going to use them, um, expect to be charging a little bit more often. Um, and then the final option that you have on there is your wallpapers feature, um, is the wallpaper gallery. Um, and these are basically pre-installed images that come with the phone that you can use to, to uh, as, as wallpapers. If you find one that you particularly like, um, hit set as wallpaper, and it becomes your wallpaper. Nice and simple. Uh, the only thing that's left on the on the home screen is this bottom section down here, which is just like a menu section. So it's all it is. Again, it's kind of like apps, but it's to major features of the phone. So for example, to, to, to make a phone call, um, to view text messages, and then it also has your application section, um, which is basically your, your main menu to your other features. Uh, so that's essentially it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you found that quite useful. Um, and on the next few tutorials, we'll go into a little bit more detail about how to make a phone call, um, sending text messages, that kind of thing. Um, I'd really like it as well if you could comment on, on the tutorials to help me improve them a little bit as well, um, and subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Cheers guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.